And what issue that really bothers me most is... No, no, I didn't say bothers you. Come on. One issue. <laughs> I'm trying to say it in the You can say ticks off, I guess, but I don't want bothers, right? A little fly buzzing around my head bothers me. I'm not interested in what bothers one, you. One issue that really angers me... There you go. <laughs> the disconnect between the powers that be and the community at large. Yeah, that's good. Hi, my name is Sean Holt. I am a graduate student of Roosevelt. And I guess I'm a mother you know, and I have um, nephews who are in you know, high school who can't even write a piece of mm. Mm. So, Yeah, thank you. My name is Chicana Hodges and I'm the Secretary of the Sociology Department. Oh, you, I, I, My name is Chicana Hodges thank you. and I'm the Secretary of the Sociology Department and the thing that upsets me most is informal social injustice. Thank you. major, so this is new to me a little bit, but I would say the raised violence in Chicago, because I'm not from here, but I've lived in quite a few states, and I've been here a year and noticed more and more and more and more stories just building up. Uh, my name is John Paraso, and I work in uh, HIV prevention and correctional populations, and it pisses me off that people, like, don't pay enough attention to HIV prevention because they have a moral objection to the way it's transmitted sometimes. Good, thank you. Hi, my name is Cynthia Sneed, and I graduated from Roosevelt in May. And what pisses me off is that parents don't give a damn about their child, their children's education. Mm -hmm. Good, Hi, my, Karen, my name is Karen Garcia. Um, I'm a non jigger head student here at Roosevelt. And um, what pisses me off is just the violence and um, the injustice in education. And the first thing I need to know from you yes. is this to create the action campaign to yes. dismantle the training campaign? Yes. yes. That's exactly what's going to happen. I just need to know for me to change me on the No, that's what it is. Tell me your name. My name is Phyllis Hall. Okay, and what makes you angry? I'm from Woodlawn. I'm volunteering at Emmett Till School. Okay. That makes you angry? I'm sorry? That, that's what makes you angry, that you volunteer at Emmett Till School? What makes you angry? Tell me one thing that makes you angry. Other than well, me bugging you right now. Whole situation. Okay. Of the school period. Okay. The bad conditions of the school? And so as I'm concerned. All right. It. Excellent. My name is Amy Roberts, and uh, I get really angry about uh, a lot of situations that I see where we're blaming the victims, mm. especially when those victims are kids. Mm. Excellent. And you're from? Oh, I'm from here. Excellent. <laughs> Um, my name is Shannon Kanashige, and I'm a graduate student here, and I work um, at the Mansfield office. And um, pisses me off is that we don't really treat and value every child equally in this country. Right. Uh, my name is Liddell Lacey, and um, I would have to say it's not so much a thing of being angry, but what uh, inspires me is to try to do is the problem with the youth and the, the disrespect that they have for the elders. And, you know, as, and as a result, you know, mm -hmm. to watch the elders being afraid, mm -hmm. yeah. it just seems terribly wrong. And you're coming from a school, organization, institution? Actually, I happen to, to see your. Okay. All right, great. I'm Steve Myers. Uh, the thing that makes me angry is how so many children are killed or hurt, and there's this general indifference or apathy or inaction among communities, but even more so among those in power who, if they truly wanted to focus on it, could make such a powerful difference but their interests lie elsewhere. Okay. okay. I'm Alex Wiesendanger. I'm from the Community Renewal Society. It pisses me off, and I would like you to all get comfortable saying that. 
It pisses me off that we have a system that's designed to take young black youth from Chicago and put them in prison downstate. That's the design. That's what makes me angry. But we're not going to actually talk about any of those issues. You've had like 15 workshops so far about issues. So you now know more about issues than you did coming into today. But you've got to ask, right, what am I going to do about it? So what we're going to do here, um, there is no clock. I'm going to try to stay on time. What we're going to do here is talk about how do you go about taking what you heard and turning this into a campaign that changes something. All right? Because that's, that's what we're really interested in, right? We can come and have two great days of conversation and learn a lot. And as far as I'm concerned, and I know Nancy agrees with me because we had these discussions way a long time ago, if all we do is everyone gets informed, I don't think we've done much. All right? So what I would like to do is just start with the questions you need to ask that will get you to a campaign that wins. And then, you know, we organizers, we don't think we're doing anything unless we write on flip charts. So we're going we're gonna to write on flip charts. These questions seem simple, but they are not as simple as you think they are. The first question that you have to ask to develop a campaign What do you want? Here are the wrong answers to what do you want. I want equality. Okay. I want better education. Do I not want equality? I'm asking you. Of course I want equality. Does anyone here not want better education? Why is that the wrong question to ask? Too broad. It's much too broad. I have no idea what you want. This is about specifics. You need to tell me exactly what you want. Because let me tell you, if you don't know, you are not going to get it. The broader thing we're doing here, we'll come back to this page, is we're taking the world of big problems. We are cutting out what we in organizing call an issue. Give me an example of some things that are problems. There are problems in the world. You all just told me you were angry about them. Give me some. Too many guns. What? Too many guns. Guns. Too many guns. What else? Another problem. I don't know a problem with, I always hear about about education, mm -hmm. some of the other state schools, like, how can a child not have basic basketball in high school or reading? Yeah. I don't know. What Inadequate education problems? is a problem. Uh, economic and resource disparities. Yes, economic disparity. These are problems. They are huge. They are broad. It is not at all clear what the solution to them is. Let's take, what was the one you said? Too many guns. Guns. What is an issue? How can you cut that to something clear and specific that you want? To eliminate some of those guns. Okay, that's not that specific. What does eliminate and what do some of it mean? If I take two guns, I've eliminated some of them. Have I really done anything? No. Nah, right? We got like five billion guns on the streets of Chicago, right? We did a gun collection at my church one Saturday and collected like 300 guns. It was really, really scary. I was worried to walk outside. Uh, after that, I was like, holy shit. Um, this is the dirtiest language. Uh, okay, you know, we're gonna have. About the guns. What are you going to do about when they turn the guns in, then the police will go back out on the street and sell them to yeah, the game? We will get there. But for right now, let's talk about what would be a specific issue about guns that we're going to cut out. What are we going to do? What do you want to happen? Reinstate the, the hand, uh, handgun ban. Hey, okay, reinstate Chicago's handgun ban. That is a specific demand, right? Nationally, you could do something like reinstating the, the Brady gun laws that ban assault weapons, right? Because I don't think anyone needs an AK-47 for any reason at all, right? That is a specific what you want. Um, 